gentlemen, I would like to pretend that this is a car. <laughs> Sit sitting in this car, is myself, playing Mrs. Hung, the lovely Mrs. Hung. Mr. Hung is sitting here, yet he will be somewhat quiet for this <laughs> and My best man Richard will be playing myself. It is raining and he is carrying an umbrella. <laughs> I don't want to hold you up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um, may I have your Yes, yes!
usually women have to go through a lifetime of beauty treatments, pain, childbirth. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only fair for one day that you gents go through the same thing. So I'm going to need you to roll up one leg. And I'm going to need four girls. <laughs> Background dancer, 
Shona's. I've got more of Shona's face if you want to.
This is why you want the one that designs the games. I feel a bit like Jigsaw today. <laughs> 42 seconds. <laughs> Two handstands. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a floor person on this one. <laughs> <laughs> floor person. Yeah, yeah. Floor, 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 floor person. Floor person. We have two floor people. Handstands. I think I'm going to have to take off a second layer of my previous sleepy. You think you could? No idea. Last time. 
I'm gonna help you out. <laughs> Say probably my bottom. Yay! <laughs> and on that note, I think we will. I think you will. Yeah. So I don't know. So well, well, do you feel that they've proven themselves? They've done a lot more physical work than I expected. <laughs> <laughs>
Standing, the arrival of the bridal party. Ladies and gentlemen, those of you not getting married today, please be seated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you here today at the Lansdowne Club in the city of Westminster. My name is Naomi Potter, and I'm the registrar conducting today's ceremony. With me is my colleague, Le registrar Liz Waite, who will be making the legal record of today's ceremony. This record will remain forevermore in the vaults of Westminster. Now, before we begin, I'd like you both to state your full legal names. Nicholas Adam Raymond Johnson. Cheryl Jane Hung. Thank you. We are here today to witness the marriage of Nick and Cheryl. And on their behalf, I would like to thank you for joining them to witness the start of their new life together. Family and friends have come here to be with them today, and it means a great deal to them that you can be here to share in their happiness and witness their marriage vows. However, I must ask that if any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, then he or she should declare it now. Not good. Nick and Cheryl have chosen this venue in the heart of London. Do you like? as the setting to make a lifelong commitment to one another. Historically, Westminster has had a long-standing significance in the celebration of marriages. It is therefore a very special place in which to make these vows. Now this time, I'd like to ask Ruth and Peter to come forward for the first reading. There is a sort of gallery structure in the roof space which held the beds 
and also a bath, which, Ben Church explained, you could actually swing a cat in. But, she added, only if it was a reasonably patient cat that didn't mind a few nasty cracks about the head. So, here you are. <coughs> yes? They looked at each other for a moment. The moment became a longer moment, and suddenly it was a very long moment. So long, one could hardly tell where all the time it was coming from. For Arthur, who could usually contrive to feel self-conscious if left long, alone long enough with a Swiss cheese plant, the moment was one of sustained revelation. He felt on the sudden like a cramped and zoo-born animal who wakes one morning to find the door of his cage hanging quietly open and the savannah stretching grey and pink the distant rising sun, but all round the new sounds are waking. He wondered what the new sounds were as he gazed at her openly wandering face and her eyes that smiled with shared surprise. He hadn't realised that life speaks with a voice to you, a voice that brings you answers to the questions you continually ask of it, had never consciously detected it or recognised its tones until now, said something you had never seen him said to me before, which was, yes. yes. Nick and Cheryl, the purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care for, and support each other through the joys and sorrows of life. Marriage means making a commitment to life, to developing and maintaining cooperation, friendship, and mutual respect. It calls for trust, understanding, encouragement, and of course, a sense of humour. Marriage requires closeness and distance. Closeness for a couple growing together, and enough distance to allow each partner to be an individual. A good partner in such a marriage will be loving, caring, and above all, a best friend. Ladies and gentlemen, Nick and Cheryl have found in each other happiness, fulfillment, and love. As a consequence of this, they now wish to affirm their relationship and to offer to each other the security which comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made and faithfully kept. Nick and Cheryl, these vows which unite you constitute a formal and a public pledge of your love for each other. Before you are joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows that you are about to make. Marriage, according to the law of this country, is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. Therefore, I am now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that you know of no lawful reason why you may not be joined in matrimony to each other. Nick, please repeat after me. I do solemnly declare I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I, Nick why I, Nick may not be joined may not be joined in matrimony to Cheryl in matrimony to Cheryl. Cheryl, Nick has declared he is free to marry you so I must now ask you to make a similar declaration. Please repeat after me. I do solemnly declare I do solemnly declare that I know not that I know not of any lawful impediment of any lawful impediment why I Cheryl why I Cheryl may not be joined may not be joined in matrimony to Nick in matrimony to Nick thank you both now the solemn moment has come for this couple to make their marriage contract with each other in the presence of you their witnesses and guests Again, Nick, please repeat after me. Oh, before I start, um, even though you'll be repeating these words after me, you'll be saying them to one another, so you may wish to turn and face each other, take hands if you'd like. So, Nick, please repeat after me. I call upon... I call upon... These persons here present... These persons here present... To witness that I, Nick... To witness that I, Nick... Do take thee, Cheryl... Do take thee, Cheryl... To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To love, respect, and cherish. To love, respect, and cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Thank you. Cheryl, please repeat after me. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Cheryl. 
to witness that I, Cheryl, do take thee, Nick, do take thee, Nick, to be my lawful wedded husband, to be my lawful wedded husband, to love, respect, and cherish, to love, respect, and cherish, as long as we both shall live, as long as we both shall live. We have now come to the exchange of rings. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end. It symbolizes unending and everlasting love and is the outward sign of the lifelong promise you have just made to each other. Richard, may I ask you to come forward? And if you can please give um, the ring at the beginning of the show. Okay. Now, if you could just put the ring about halfway down. Again, after me. Cheryl, I give you this ring. Cheryl, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. Affection and respect. Affection and respect. Now and always. Now and always. Nick, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love, as a symbol of my love, affection and respect, affection and respect, now and always, now and always. We have now come to our second reading, so can I please ask the team to come forward? Love is a temporary madness by Louisa Bernier. Love is a temporary madness. It erupts like volcanoes and then subsides. And when it subsides, you have to make a decision. You have to work out whether the roots are so entwined together that it is inconceivable that we can ever part. Because this is what love is. Love is not recklessness. It is not excitement. It is not the promulgation of promises or return of passion. That is just being in love, which any fool can do. Love itself is what is left over when being in love is burned away. And this is both an art and a fortunate accident. Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground, and when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from their branches, they find out that they are one tree and not two. Nick and Cheryl, you have now both made the declarations required by law and have made solemn promises to each other in the presence of your family and friends gathered here today. This day will form a milestone in your lives. You will look back upon it with love and happiness as the start of a new phase in your life together. We all here hope that the feelings of love that you have for each other will deepen and grow ever stronger throughout the years to come. And so, on behalf of the City of Westminster, Liz and myself, it gives me the very greatest of pleasure to declare that you are husband and wife. You may kiss.
hopefully many of you will be joining us again tomorrow, first of all. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm originally from Yorkshire in Northern England. Uh, we did try to see if there were any Yorkshire traditions we could include in the wedding, but the only thing we could find was making the guests pay for their own drinks. <laughs> Thank you. 
because I need a present to someone else. <laughs> now, I'm going to finish with that story, I promise you. Um, I hope most of you know some of this story. And uh, some of you know most of it, but actually none of you know quite all of it, because there's a, not even shell of it, because there's detail I've been saving to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I first saw Cheryl in the office where we both walked. Work, walked? Worked. I was minding myself eating my lunch when she walked, walked past and I thought, my god, that girl is very attractive. <laughs> again and again I would see her around the office. And again and again I would think, that girl is very attractive. <laughs> I didn't speak to her, of course, that, that would have been crazy. <laughs> but one day I noticed that she was playing board games with some people I knew, so the next time they played, I made sure I was around when they were looking for players. And so, I got to know her, and I discovered that she wasn't really very attractive. She was very decent. Aww. Um, blah, 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 that's my place. <laughs> <laughs> One day I was walking through the office, I said hi to her and smiled. She turned and smiled back, and this is the detail I've been keeping to myself. A thought popped into my head, and the thought was, I think I'm going to marry that girl. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't tell her that because she would have straight from the room. I was really quite freaked out by this weird thought myself. Um, but sometime later on, when we became a serious item, I remembered that strange thought. But I kept it to myself. And then again, when we got married, when we got, when we, when we got engaged, <laughs> I decided I would save it until this moment right now in this speech, which it seems I've been writing for about six years. Thank you. And next, to give you a speech I'm not at all terrified about, <laughs> I'd like to pass the microphone over to my best man, Mr. Rich Oates. Whoops. So, okay, um, <laughs> thank you, Nick. That's going to be a very tough act to follow. Pretty much because it's very same as my speech. <laughs> so um, you probably stole it off the internet when I put it on it. So, <laughs> so how do I start? So this place in general here today, what a fantastic venue. They've done such a good job in actually choosing this place. Um, I don't know about anybody else, I feel a little bit like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman right now. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I have been asked to tell you all, though, that the cutlery and towels are not complimentary. <laughs> so, Danny, you need to take the man of your back. <laughs> <laughs> Is everybody having a good time? <laughs> That's the important thing for me. The good news is we're less than halfway through the celebration. <laughs> so, um, I'm especially looking forward to the banquet tomorrow. Woo. Say what you like about Nick. He <laughs> um, really knows how to feed people. In fact, he's the only person I've ever known to buy five pounds of brisket in Texas, fly it over to the UK, and feed it to his friends. <laughs> and it was amazing. What a guy. Um, combined with the legend of his 12 day Heston style chili, if you ever get to try that, pretty high expectations. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Richard, I am the best man. I was genuinely surprised when Nick asked me to do this. It is a great honour and a sign of our friendship. Um, although this is my first time, so no promises, results may vary. <laughs> um, firstly, on behalf of everybody here, I want to say congratulations to Nick and Cheryl, and thank you both for inviting us to your special day. Anyone who's been looking enough to spend time in your company knows what a great company you are. And we wish you the best going forward. Nick was the best man at my wedding last year. He was doing an absolutely, absolutely wonderful job. So I hope this speech hits the already the bar already set. No matter how long. <laughs> uh, but we all have a good story, right? Yeah. 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 So, okay. 
So this is a bit of a lighthearted storytelling in a similar fashion to This Is Your Life. Are you sure you all remember that? Which I've lovingly come to know as This Is Your Job Song. <laughs> <laughs> I also considered Me and My Job Song. It just sounded weird. <laughs> there you go. So also with any wedding, there's a slight list of people who I'd just like to say a few, a few special words about. First, I want to thank you all for making the journey here today to help celebrate this wonderful occasion. Uh, special thanks to the ushers, Mark, John, Dougal, Kevin, Matt. I know Nick had a, a huge dilemma when selecting which of his good friends were up to the task of directing people's that seems. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. <laughs> um, and a massive, massive thank you to both sets of parents, Ray and Elaine, Manita and Hans. It's like without you doing, you know, what you did. <laughs> None of us would be here today. So, <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Hans, I know you must have been the proudest father walking your daughter down the aisle. Tell me two more kids to do what you And to the bridesmaids. You and Lisa Bond and the team, you all look absolutely stunning. And you've done a wonderful job today. However, don't know about the other groomsmen, it's been quite a while since three ladies made me sweat so much. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I come to the bride and groom, Nick and Cheryl, obviously. What more can I say than Cheryl, you look absolutely stunning.
but there is also a drummer in here somewhere. <coughs> Don't ask him to keep time for anything. <laughs> You'll be sadly disappointed. <laughs> but at this point, fearful of success and the hedonistic lifestyle of this band would have brought, Nick relocates to Edinburgh from university. And here he was able to celebrate his love of the rain and fear of the sun. <laughs> and amongst other things that during this time Nick studied underwater robotics, creating a very early version of Boat of a Club Face. <laughs> True for that. But still not able to shake me off on some of his other friends. We experienced multiple intoxicated Edinburgh New Years patiently waiting for the fireworks to be cancelled, <laughs> whilst listening to Matt Badger play the bagpipes. <laughs> so during this time Nick made a lot of good friends, and many of them have travelled far and wide to be here today. See if that owes really a lot of people a lot of money. <laughs> Maybe they just collect <laughs> um, Also at this point, after achieving his PhD, he launched his new brand, Doctors. <laughs> Some of you fine people may have come across one of his inventions. If not, for the details are available on DocJohnson.com. <laughs> but all good things come to an end, and after 12 years ish at Edinburgh University, Nick decided to leave his second home of Edinburgh behind and follow the rest of us. Ooh, <laughs> to the big smoke. For a life of Google branded clothing <laughs> and many homes with leaking roofs. <laughs> Which also led him to shower. At this point, so I you heard Nick's story about how they actually met in the office, that's fine. I have a different version of what I think actually happened. <laughs> I'd like to think at this point a Google search was carried out internally <laughs> by Google HR. A faulty algorithm matched them, <laughs> quickly propelling them into a Google sponsored program to create the next generation of nerd. I expect his code before I was doing Interesting to think from a coding point of view, your love could have started from an incorrectly entered call. <laughs> Session of the Mr. and Mrs. Game. Oh, 
throwing the main loving shake on Cheryl's shoe size. <laughs> I've been surprised to learn her favorite color was green. But that came in handy today. <laughs> Who knows what forfeit that saved us from? <laughs> or you'll look the rest of it, I hope. <laughs> but I would like to offer a little marriage advice, especially based on the mystics of this quiz that we went through. Never forget these three magical words. You're right, Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> and on a serious note, and all joking apart, words can't express how happy I am that you've finally tied the knot today. It's been a great honor to be your best man. We've shared some amazing times over the years, and I'm sure they will continue long into the future. I'd like to finish up with a quote for you romantics out there. Marriage is not about finding a person you could live with, it's about finding the person you cannot live without. In Cheryl, Nick has definitely found that person. So, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me immense pleasure to invite you all to stand, raise a glass, to show your appreciation and love for two wonderful people possessing the world's greatest double barrel surname. <laughs> to Nick and Cheryl, the new Mr. and Mrs. Johnson Home. We wish them well for the future. I hope you enjoy a long and happy
and I think we all know that Nick would have dared. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched Cheryl and Nick get steadily more twitchy over the past 10 months, arranging the perfect wedding, and it wasn't just for themselves either. As everyone knows, weddings are for the family, the friends, the community, in short, everyone except the couple themselves. But when Cheryl decides to do something, she does it wholeheartedly and without hesitation. I'm sure I'm not alone in feeling that a 10-month engagement is a pretty short space of time in which to pull together such a stunning wedding and have it all go so flawlessly. I will note that I have an asterisk here with a mended crisis occurs, so <laughs> I'm very glad I didn't need to do that. And uh, I'm also sure that by the end of the, wed of the weekend, someone will have asked the newly married couple, so when are you planning to have children? <laughs> and, uh, no doubt our mum is already lining that up ready for the next conversation. <laughs> uh, whilst I had long since decided that marriage and motherhood is definitely absolutely not for me, hell no, not in a million years, I have no doubt that if or when Cheryl and Nick decide that they want to have children, Cheryl would be a wonderful mother. She's grown up into a thoughtful, intelligent, compassionate, caring, dedicated, and beautiful woman with more than enough love to share. So thank you, Cheryl, for not only braving the gauntlet of organizing a full traditional Chinese wedding and a full Western wedding, but also taking that parental pressure to get married and have children from off of my shoulders. <laughs>
You make my life better in so many little ways. From buying flowers for my mum on Mother's Day, because I'm a terrible daughter who forgets to do these things. Um, to finding cooperative games for us to play, because I'm not very good at competitive games and frankly I'm a sore loser. <laughs> but really, you, you expect the very best from me. And that enables me to be my best. So I really couldn't ask for a better partner, helpmate in life, and husband. So please, round of applause for Nick. So the good thing about doing the last speech is I can skip all of the thanks because I assume that everybody would have done those already. Um, what I will pay tribute to is family, because I've always appreciated how close and loving our family is. And that starts with my parents, who for 30 years, and yes, as of yesterday, I am now 30, for 30 years have given me unending love and support and high expectations. Um, and they also made a great decision, which is, my middle name is Jane. So for years I've used Cheryl J. Hum as my, you know, all public facing name, Cheryl J. Hum. At this point, I've repurposed that J to be Johnson, so I can now be Cheryl Johnson Hum, and I don't have to change any of my IDs across anything. It's perfect, thank you. So, of my bridesmaids, Eunice, my sister, knows me better than anybody else in the world. She's my best friend. Yvonne and I, my cousin, we're one month apart in age. We pretty much grew up together. We saw each other three or four times a week at ballet school and Chinese school. And Ting, I've known since even before Cambridge because the number of female Chinese computer science undergraduates interviewing at Imperial UCL in Cambridge is really low. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, thank you to all of my bridesmaids. But now I feel like I've gained another family. So Ray and Elaine, thank you for being so welcoming towards me and I'm really grateful for you accepting me as your daughter-in-law. Um, I also want to thank you and Nick for taking part in the Chinese wedding traditions, most of which I had no clue about before I started all of this. Um, Nick and I spent hours tying red ribbons around oranges and coconuts and dried seafood to gift to my parents as part of the Chinese betrothal. Nick had to buy a pair of new shoes for my brother, Justin, but only because he's my younger brother. If he was my older brother, he wouldn't have to buy him new shoes. I don't know why this is. Um, and also, also Nick and the, and the groomsmen for being game for the door games today. You did an amazing job. And thank you, Yvonne, for the most hilarious. I don't think I stopped laughing for two hours through that. So thank you really for all the effort that you put into organizing it. So, in a moment, we are all going to file out of here, go into crush hall, and we'll do cake cutting. And then the staff will turn around this room and we'll have a Kaylee. If you haven't done a Kaylee before, it's enormously good fun. And the caller's going to teach everyone the steps, and if in doubt, follow the men in kilts. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I really hope that you enjoy the evening's parties. As I said earlier, the most important thing for me today is that everybody knows that their presence here was welcomed and valued and wanted. And thank you so much for spending your time with us. And for most, most of you are coming to tomorrow's Chinese wedding banquet as well. So you're giving up your whole bank holiday weekend to spend it with us. So a toast please to all of you for being here. Thank you. And with that, that concludes our speeches. So, thank you. Here we 
I'm the mother of Bright, mother of Shero. I'm so, so happy and so over the moon that uh, Shero is actually getting married. Um, she's been uh, the pride of the family. We've always loved her and we know that she will make the right choice for herself. She's very, she understands what she wants, so I have no problem knowing that she will pick the right Mr. Man on the day and I'm sure that Nick will be the best man for him for the rest of their life. They will live happily ever after. It's a wonderful day today, really fantastic. Cheryl, you are eight years old, you are very happy and very happy to be with you. Well, hopefully we wish them to have a you know, uh, live, to live ha happy ever after, and um, congratulations anyway. <laughs> yeah. Cheryl, I wish you to be a black and black and black and black and black and happy to be with you. Everyone is happy to be with you. I wish you a happy birthday. Okay, bye bye. Hi Nick, Cheryl, I'm so happy for you and it is a lovely wedding uh, reception. Um, I uh, hope you know you will have a, a lovely life together for life. Hi, it's Cheryl and Nick, uh, Auntie Flora. Congratulations, Cheryl and Nick. Thank you so much for inviting us. We're having a really lovely time. We wish you all the best for the future. Congratulations. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Congratulations, Nick and Cheryl. We're very, very pleased for you, and we wish you the best for the future. And if you're as good a husband as you have been a friend, she's very, very lucky. Love you both, from me and Shelley. Hi, Nick, and uh, hi, Cheryl. We haven't had the occasion to meet yet, but, uh, oh, yeah. Thank you very much for inviting us along, even though it's been a while. Um, we wish you all the best for your marriage. And um, I've run out of things to say because I'm really nervous. But uh, Congratulations. Congratulations. And I will look forward to seeing you both again in due course. So congratulations, Cheryl and Nick. Um, I wish you all the best. And thank you for inviting me to your lovely wedding. Bye. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. We reckon the secret to a happy married life is getting a cleaner. Congratulations, Cheryl and Nick. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you for uh, letting us be a part of your big day. And it was a massive honor to do the games for you and uh, to be your bridesmaid. So enjoy the rest of your day and tomorrow. Look forward to it. Yeah. Hope you have a long and happy marriage. Hi, Nick and Cheryl. Hello. It's us. <laughs> um, just giving you a little video wedding ceremony thing going on right now. Just want to say thank you for your hospitality so far. Uh, especially to Cheryl, thank you for all the uh, challenges that I just had to do. <laughs> By the time you've uh, seen this, so I've had my MRI, so that'll be an exciting <laughs> story to tell you about. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to the rest of the party tonight and tomorrow as well. Yeah. Exactly. Just want to wish you both many, many congratulations. And thank you so much for inviting us both. It's great. Hey, congratulations um, on such an amazing day. Hope you have a great life together and uh, we found the games really fun. Yeah, they were brilliant. <laughs> Hey Nick and Cheryl, congratulations. Adam says congrats too. Is he is he looking at the thing? I think he's looking. <laughs> he certainly had a great day. He may even have had more fun than you guys. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations you two. Uh, wish you all the best. Um, very happy to see how happy you are Cheryl and I'm sure Nick will be fantastic with you. Okay. Congratulations. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl and Nick. We're so happy for you, and we had a great party, and still having it. We very much enjoyed being part of your experience with all your cultural ingredients that both of you added, and we hope you have a beautiful life together. <laughs> Hi, Cheryl and Nick. I'm really happy to be here today and share this moment with you. Uh, in particular, I like the mix between the Chinese and the British culture. It's really great to see, and I'm really enjoying it. Thanks for having me here. Hey, congratulations. Nick and Cheryl, uh, thank you very much for inviting me and sharing the best day of your life with me. Uh, and I wish you a wonderful life together. Have a stone house! Um, congratulations, Nick and Cheryl. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
congratulations Cheryl and Nick. Um, I guess you will be so glad now that you don't have to do any more organising and arranging. It's over! It's over! It's over. It's no tomorrow. more! Oh god! Uh, Cheryl, like, congratulations in your wedding. Congratulations, Nick and Cheryl. We're having a wonderful time. You've put together a beautiful day, and we hope you're having an amazing time. I concur. Also, a small amount of uh, advice from a, an old married couple of nearly four years. Um, don't sweat it when times get tough. They get up, you work through it together. He agrees. Also, one last message. That is it. I've had an absolutely amazing day. I mean, this morning's door games were just mm. hilarious. And then, I don't know, I really enjoyed the ceremony. Mm. Possibly the door games were a bit less fun for me. They were. Now that it's over, I'm glad. And they were a lot of fun. I'm glad I got approved my love. Of course. <laughs> to a satisfactory extent. And the ceremony was beautiful. You looked absolutely spectacular in the dress. Oh, thank you. Mm. Yeah, well, we, we get to have the rest of our lives together. Yep. Spend the rest of our lives together. That's pretty important. Um, the other thing that I really liked about today is having all our friends and family around us. It's been really... It feels really good to have, yep. have everybody. Yeah, yeah. Um, we'd like to thank all of our friends and family who've travelled to come and see us. Um, your presence means the absolute world to us, and uh, this day wouldn't be half what it is without you. As I said before, what I really wanted out of today was for our guests to feel like their presence was valued and welcomed and wanted. Everybody has done so much for me or Nick or both of us, so it really is important to us that everybody is here because we're really grateful to you.